The three-digit Colt Python. The year was 1956, and the Colt factory in Hartford, Connecticut, was bustling with activity. The previous year had seen the introduction of the Colt Python, a revolver that quickly gained a reputation for being the finest production revolver in the world. Among the new Pythons being crafted that year was one with a three-digit serial number, number 328, a revolver destined to have a story as striking as its craftsmanship. The Python was born into an era when revolvers were still considered the gold standard for both law enforcement and civilian self-defense. Every inch of the Python was meticulously crafted, from its deep, royal blue finish to the hand-polished walnut grips. The action was as smooth as silk, and the balance was perfect. It was more than just a firearm. It was a piece of art. After leaving the factory, the Python was shipped to a small gun shop in rural Minnesota. The shop owner, a World War II veteran named Frank Stevens, had an eye for quality firearms, and when he unboxed the Python, he knew he had something special. He placed it in a glass case, prominently displayed in the center of his store, where it quickly caught the eye of everyone who walked in. One autumn day, a young man named John Lawson walked into the shop. John was a local, the son of a farmer, and had recently returned from serving in the Korean War. He had always admired fine firearms, and when he saw the python, he was captivated. He saved up every penny he earned working odd jobs, and after a few months, he had enough money to buy the revolver. With the python now in his possession, John felt a sense of pride and responsibility. He wasn't just carrying a gun, he was carrying a legacy. He spent hours at the range perfecting his aim, getting to know the feel of the revolver and marveling at its precision. It wasn't long before John became known in his town as an excellent marksman, someone who could hit a target dead center from impressive distances. But the python wasn't just for target practice. It became a symbol of protection for John and his family. In the summer of 1957, when a particularly severe drought led to tensions rising among neighboring farms over water rights, John found himself in a very tense standoff with a group of men who had come to take water from his family well by force. As the men approached, John calmly stepped onto the porch, the python at his side. He didn't have to say a word. The sight of the revolver gleaming in the midday sun was enough to stop them in their tracks. They knew that this was no ordinary gun and that John wasn't someone to be trifled with. The men backed down and a potential conflict was averted without a single shot fired. Over the years, the python continued to serve John well. It accompanied him on hunting trips in the dense Minnesota woods, where it proved its worth against both game and the occasional predator. It was with him during long nights patrolling the farm, guarding against rustlers and wild animals alike. The revolver became more than just a tool. It was an extension of John himself, a trusted companion that never failed him. As the years passed, John grew older, and the world around him changed. Semi-automatic pistols began to replace revolvers as the weapon of choice, but John never wavered in his loyalty to the python. To him, it was irreplaceable, a reminder of the values he held dear, precision, craftsmanship, and reliability. When John passed away in the 1980s, the python was handed down to his daughter, who knew the stories of how the revolver had protected and served her family. It wasn't just an inheritance, it was a legacy. The daughter, understanding its significance, kept it in pristine condition, occasionally taking it out to the range to feel the same connection her father had felt all those years ago. Today, the Colt Python from 1956 with its three-digit serial number and rich history, 
is more than just a collector's item. It's a testament to the life of a man who valued craftsmanship and tradition, a symbol of the power of a well-made firearm to protect, to provide, and to endure through generations. And as it now rests in his daughter's collection, it carries with it the stories and memories of the people who wielded it, a beautiful revolver with a soul as deep as its blued finish.